I am not a gym girly. I want to be a gym girly so bad, but I just cannot figure out how to start, how to get there, how to be consistent. And I think I figured it out. I think it's because I've been avoiding packing a gym bag. So I feel unprepared and that means that I'm not going to leave to get to go to the gym. So that's what we're doing today. You're going to hang out with me while I pack my gym bag. I know there's already gonna be some comments that are gonna say like, what was so hard about this? What was so daunting about this? I don't know and I can't explain it other than saying that ADHD gives you a type of weird executive dysfunction that even if you want to do something, the act of getting to do it feels impossible and I'm at that really weird part. I'm also very avoidant and sometimes I just do not have the drive to do it. I've given myself every excuse in the book and if that sounds like you, come hang out with me. In order to get started though, I'm gonna need a gym bag and that's where today's sponsor, FabFitFun, is gonna help me out. FabFitFun partnered with me, sent me over the spring box. They even let me make all the choices in it so I'm excited to show you what it is that we got here. FabFitFun is a seasonal lifestyle subscription box. It's going to include things like beauty, fitness, and different things for your home. How it works is you're either a seasonal member or an annual member. The seasonal members get to select four out of the six full-size items. The annual members get to select all six out of the six full-size items, plus they get their boxes a little bit sooner. You can expect brands that you actually know to come out of here like Swell, Grown Alchemist, Fenty, even like a Coach and Free People have been in these boxes. And each of the categories, like how the choice works is that it's broken into six, four or six categories depending if you're seasonal or annual. And in those categories, you're gonna have like six to eight different items to choose from. So you can really tailor the box. If you want this to be a beauty box, you can make this a beauty box by making that selection in each. You can also do add-ons if there's more than one thing that you like in that category. And they have flash sales like all year long. So let's break into this thing. This is the spring 2024 box valued up to $350 based on, of course, what it is that I chose. And keep in mind, I kept my selections in mind for the fitness and wellness season that I am currently in. First up here, is for the kitchen. This is the Swell Salad Bowl. It's the cutest pink ever, isn't that? This thing comes with a tray on the inside so you can separate the things like tortilla strips from the actual salad and a little dressing container and it's stainless steel. So that's that'll be easy to clean. Um, keep my lettuce nice and crunchy cold. Ooh, I like that. In theory, because this is cute and because it's separated so nicely and because it's so easy to care for, I will actually eat more salads. Pretty stoked about that. Next up, this thing, that's not for the gym bag, but this next thing is actually for the gym bag. I've always wanted to try this. So I was stoked when I saw this as an option. It's called the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. When I work out, I get the oiliest scalp. I cannot handle it. So this it says it actually cleans hair, eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. I think this will come in clutch in the gym bag. This next thing is called African Botanics Muscle Pain Recovery Relief Gel. And this thing was actually kind of expensive. So I wanted to give it a try before committing to buying more of it myself. It says for mood and headaches, rub gently into your temples and breathe deeply for a few minutes. So it's gonna give me that zen a little bit. Did not realize that. It's great for delivering fast acting, soothing and warming relief to help alleviate and revitalize aching joints, muscles and post-workout discomfort while eating tension and fatigue. It sounds like it smells really good. Oh, it has Arnica, obviously for the gym bag. This next thing, not really very gym related, but super ADHD and sensory related. Perhaps you can relate to it. It's a spa headband. It kind of feels like terry cloth. This is the part that I was really excited about. It came with wrist cuffs. And if you avoid washing your face or you just hate it so much because when you do it, the water drips down your hands, this is going to stop that because it's going to be little towels that soak it up. And it's, I use scrunchies right now, but these were so much thicker. The scrunchies work, but they're not it. This, this is fun. <laughs> the last two things in the box, I did actually pick out one beauty, well, I guess that's beauty related as well. These are the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I've had these in the past. They are excellent at getting rid of my acne. I've had a lot of flare ups lately for some reason and a lot of really big ones. Like even down my neck, I think it's the new shampoo and conditioner I'm using. I should probably avoid. And then the last thing in here is the thing that we need. It's bigger than I expected it to be, which is good because I was writing down the list of everything that needs to go in this bag and it was feeling like it was a lot. 
This was available in like this kind of grayish stone color, taupey stone color as well. I went with black because everything that I love is black. It's from Beyond Yoga. It's a bag that you can carry over your shoulder, but even more importantly, and this feature is just my absolute fave, it's a backpack. It has a little cinch top right there too. Um, water bottle holders and a spot for like your shoes and dirty clothes in the bottom. This is going to come in so clutch. I'm so excited. <gasps> Beyond Yoga has so much cute like clothing. I should have assumed they had cute workout gear on their site, but they have such cute workout gear. I'm looking at the price of this real quick. Convertible gym bag. Oh, the other color is called Birch. It's $80. I didn't have to spend $80 on a gym bag. I didn't have to. I could have found a cheaper gym bag at the store, but I got a legit solid I love this bag. <laughs> it costs more than the entire box. So of course, FabFitFun does have some offers for you all. If you sign up to be a seasonal member, you can use code ELEVATED to save 20% off your first box, making it $47.99. If you decide to be an annual member and get those extra bonus perks, you can use code ELEVATED GIFT and get a free gift valued at $200. I will have the link and codes down below in the description box, as well as in the pinned comment. Thank you so much, FabFitFun, for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get to pack this bag. How I feel like I should do this is gather all the things together and then pack the bag and figure out how to make it work or how to make it fit the best possible. My goal was that I don't actually have to go buy anything to go to the gym. Because spending money to get started was another thing that I really wanted to avoid. So um, things that you need, we're starting off strong with a lock. I don't have a lock. I'm going to fingers crossed that nobody steals my stuff. Maybe I could take a lock off of another case. I do, you know what? I do have a lock on my box of edibles. So I will take that to the gym. Let's go get it. All right, this here is a box of edibles that I need to go through. So let's steal that. Ooh, another thing my gym has that I will definitely be taking advantage of is a swimming pool. So I'll stick my swimsuit and I will need a towel. Let's go for this one because it's actually pretty skinny and flat and it's, it's a cute towel. All right, I'll snag my backup deodorant and then I need a hairbrush and hair ties for the gym, but I kind of don't have a good one for it. I will use this one for now. I'm not sure which hair tie is gonna be the better bet for exercising. So I'm gonna give these both a try. So I have one pair of headphones and I don't think that they're going to be it. These ones are over ear, but they're ear hooks. So when you do things like lay down and sit up, they just literally fall right off. So that's not gonna work. I think I have some that go like all the way over, which also feels weird for the gym. Maybe I have the bone conducting ones. Is that too loud for the gym? Shit. I don't know. There's my vision board though. This is what is keeping me accountable to, to doing the damn things. This one right up here. It's 100 classes and workouts. And so that's what we're on our way to do. And I see this every day when I wake up, but there are things on here that are actually happening. Like I want to go to 10 plus live events this year. And I just got tickets to fly on a bus at the shelter in Detroit. So excited about that. Going to see Bill Burr and Alana Glazer in March and in April. So I have seven more events, seven more tickets that I need to buy. Putting together my new dream office. This is all actually coming together and it's actually working and I've never vision boarded before but let me tell you this is the most change the most positive change I've made in any January in my entire life. Get rid of the New Year's resolutions. Get rid of the one singular goal that we are nearly all inevitably fail and instead give yourself a whole bunch of goals and a whole bunch of exciting things that'll happen throughout the year and you can work slowly and chip away at each one rather than being so hardcore dedicated to one thing i don't think that that's good for you i don't think that that's going to be healthy for you to feel like a successful person. I would even say that next year, instead of doing a vision board for an entire year, I would break it down into like the first six months or the first quarter and just make multiple vision boards because I, I love it. Love it so much. Oh, I forgot all of, <laughs> just forgot everything for the bag in, in the <laughs> bedroom. This is already the majority of the things that's going in the bag. I don't understand why this was so hard for me to start. I found my other headphones. I'm checking out the situation, the scenario with them. 
I think they're good. Ooh, I don't actually plan on taking showers at the gym, but I am going to need shoes for walking to and from the sauna, the hot tub, the pool. I don't want to walk barefoot. I don't want to walk barefoot around the, the locker room too. And I feel like that's sometimes a scenario. Okay, I feel like the water bottle says a lot about you. This one keeps the drink so cold. Lots of stickers, looks like trash. This one very pothead. I'm more of a straw girly, so I feel like I should just select one with a straw. Either this one, is that saying too much? That's actually for iced coffee. Okay, the decision I made is one that I don't think that you expected. I love this cup because it keeps my drinks cold and it has the straw and it holds like the perfect amount and it's a really good handhold. For me, I really like how it holds. It also fits into cup holders very easily, so I know that I'm not gonna have a problem with that. Does it look like trash? Yeah, it kinda does. It also looks like I use my water bottle a lot, which that's a good vibe. Maybe I'll throw a fitness sticker on there. Feel good about myself. All right, I got it all. I got a couple extra things in here. First up, we're gonna start packing the bottom, and I think this will just be kind of like the swim section. I'm probably not going to swim every single time I go to the gym because that's asking too much, but I got my shoes, my swimsuit, some fresh undergarments because who would want to put on something sweaty afterwards? Also the towel. Will the towel fit? No. Okay. The towel is pushing it. The towel can go straight in the very bottom. And then on that is everything else. I'll put the hair ties on the brush. There is a little zipper. Put my lock my keys could go in there also um and then my snacks inside that little one i got these aloha bars they're plant-based protein bars for after workout i don't know anything about pre-workout post-workout or anything like that i just know that i get hungry and that's like a meal bar and it sounds like a good idea so it's going in the bag i also grabbed a smaller towel to carry around for when I'm a sweaty Betty. And I think a packing cube would be nice right about now because um, the rest of the stuff's like toiletries that it's just gonna be hanging out. I think I have a packing cube. Yeah. Ha! You will not believe what I found, which was not a packing cube, but I did find something that would work. I got this out of my luggage. It says Samsonite on it. I am fully about using what it is that I already have. I don't need to buy any more things it's fine. <laughs> I'm convincing myself it's fine. I'm sure I'll have more things that'll go in there. So I have my toiletries, my hairbrush, headphones, and then I was thinking I needed a plastic bag for my swimsuit when it was all wet, but I found a wet bag in my luggage. So that can go down there. I'm actually getting excited about this now. Like it's actually exciting to go to the gym because I have so much stuff together. All right, and then the water bottle. And I found another lock, so I didn't have to steal the one off of my case. So I'll figure out how to set this on. For now, I'm just gonna get the bag together. It has a little snap, keep it closed. Okay, cool. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for packing my gym bag with me. Thanks for giving me motivation to actually go to the gym. I can't believe how easy it was. That was so much easier than I, I expected it to be. And I had everything. I, I thought I was going to have to make a list of things to buy and I was really against that. The only thing that I do want to buy for myself would be a smartwatch. I don't have one. I don't have a desire to have one for the long term, but only when I'm at the gym, I want to put it on. That way I can track my fitness a little bit more closely, but I'm going to reward myself with that because I know if I was to buy myself a smartwatch today I probably won't use it and I won't go to the gym but I really want one so once I go to the gym 30 times my reward will be the smartwatch so hopefully I get that in the next couple months Thank you all so much for hanging out, for being here, for helping me pack my gym bag and get the motivation to actually get going together. And a huge shout out to FabFitFun for sponsoring today's video. I will have our link and code down below in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. Thank you all so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. And also a huge shout out to all my patrons for making videos like this possible. Now, I hope you got the motivation to get started and go to the gym or do the thing that you feel like is hard, but it actually isn't that hard. But once you get done with it, you're going to feel so much better about yourself. Love you all so damn much. I'll see you next time. Bye.